Today is June 27th. It is 10.35 p.m. and I'm starting my first ever writing vlog. Um, I've been watching these and I'm going to be participating in Camp NaNoWriMo, which is on July 1st, so only a few days away. <laughs> I'm not stressed at all. Um, but if you haven't seen, in November, I started writing a book in November for a National Novel Writing Month, which is NaNoWriMo, if you've never heard of it before. And I've always wanted to do it, but I just never really had the inspiration until last summer. I did get the inspiration and I started writing a new book in November. If you want to watch my video about how I won NaNoWriMo on my first try, I'll link it down below. It's a little rambly, but I do talk a lot about my experience and my book. Um, so I'm going to be doing writing vlogs throughout July because that's the only thing I'm going to be doing. Um, maybe I'll be reading, but probably not. If you don't know what NaNoWriMo is, it's just a writing competition and challenge. So it's just helping you write your book. And I love it so far. Um, I just graduated college and I say that because I just don't have an official confirmation. So I'm not saying it until I actually have the confirmation, but I might have graduated from college. I have a lot of time because I don't have to do homework and don't have to go to Zoom classes anymore and we're still in the midst of a global pandemic. Um, so I have a lot of free time and there's no hockey on yet. So basically I'm really fucking bored. So I am going to be doing writing vlogs and I've just been watching a bunch and I'm just really motivated and excited but really stressed. <laughs> um, so my book is a hockey book and I'm going to talk about it more throughout the vlog, but I just kind of want to talk about what I'm doing now to prep. And oh boy, is that a lot. Um, basically I wrote 50,000 words in November for NaNoWriMo and so I won NaNoWriMo, but I never actually completed the book. Um, my book is technically going to go from November to February and I only got to winter break and like Christmas. So I still got a lot and I just have a lot to add. And this is only my first draft. So I'm calling this my second draft, I guess, because I just need to really add and just fix things. And I say that because if I don't fix things, then I won't be able to end the book. Um, so I'm stressed. <laughs> um, so what I've been doing to prep is outlining. I joined a Discord, um, a NaNoWriMo Discord, which I'm really loving. Um, and I just am outlining and researching and the research just frustrates me because of the topic it's about. Um, I am writing about a trans hockey player and just being a trans athlete in general is super hard and it's just frustrating me and you're probably going to see that throughout these vlogs. Um, a side note, I'm also going to link my NaNoWriMo buddy page down below so you can add me if you want. Um, but basically I'm stressed and angry but really enjoying everything. I went back and read my book last night and cringed and also laughed my ass off because I just love my character so much and I'm just so excited to get back into the book. Um, it's gonna be fun. I miss hockey so much. Um, so hopefully when hockey is suppo it's supposed to come back, I have no fucking clue what's going on. Um, there's a lot of issues on that that I have. I kind of wish that it would just not be like this because I know in general with my team, the Flyers, Oscar Lindbaum is going through his cancer treatment still and they still brought him onto the ice. Why did you do that? Beats me. Um, but I don't know if hockey is even going to be on. Uh, <laughs> so. so I'm hoping that hockey is going to return and I 
am saying that more so for my own well-being, but also I hope it doesn't return because we're in a global pandemic. Um, I've been thinking about my lack of entertainment because the only entertainment I get is YouTube and reading and hockey, but that hasn't happened in a long time. I don't even remember what hockey's like anymore, um, but I do have a lot of references. Another fun fact is that I'm writing an Enemies to Lovers. So I've kind of grabbed most of the Enemies to Lovers that I own for reference. Um, <laughs> so here are some of my references, including hockey books. Um, Beartown actually helps me so much. Um, it definitely helped me with NaNoWriMo. Because um, sometimes hockey is just really hard to write. Um, if you're not, like, physically there, um, or I've never actually, like, played on the ice, which is so much different than actually watching it, um, but that's only because, basically, it's really hard to, um, play sports if you're not born the biological sex. It sucks. Um, but I have a bunch of enemies to lovers right now so if anyone has recommendations for young adult enemies to lovers that are not red white and royal blue um the hating game and just any cliche book <laughs> um that i probably have not already read more so like newer books because i really need like the new ya that's enemies to lovers but I just read a hate to love that I didn't really like. Um, so now I'm kind of like, do I even like this trope anymore? But I think it's more so I don't like how the trope was written by specific people. So those are the two key things that my book is about. I'll obviously be dropping it probably throughout the whole month. Um, I don't know if I'll do weekly vlogs. Honestly, I just kind of want to test with this one and then with like next week and see how it's perceived, so like if you guys like it or not, what you would like me to talk about in them. Um, maybe if you want like a quick Q&A each time, please let me know for feedback because I'm very new to this. I'm used to doing reading vlogs and not writing vlogs. Um, or if altogether I should just put them on my second channel. That was another thing I was wondering. Um, but today I bought this. This is Save the Cat Writes a Novel by Jessica Brody. I've seen so many writers on YouTube talk about this book and I am so excited for it. So this and All Enemies to Lovers are probably just all the ones I'll be reading this month if I even get any reading done. Um, but this I'm very excited because I just need some help. Oh, I also have a title. <laughs> This is so rambly. Um, I do have a title, which I will maybe just reveal at the end of this. Um, and I'm so excited about it. One of my goals for Camp Nana was to get a title because I just have been sitting here with hockey enemies to lovers and that just does not help me at all. So I was like, this month I am going to get a title. But you're going to have to wait till the end to know what the title is. Um, but I, what I was just doing is just my, I just have, so what I was just doing is a lot of outlining and research. Um, I have just been creating my Pinterest boards, which I learned how to do sections and that's amazing. I'll try and link it down below if you want to go and just look and get some inspiration of like what I'm talking about. Um, and I have a whole Word document and I've been doing character profiles and my whole brain is kind of a mess right now. But what I was just doing before I turned on the camera is looking up hockey. Um, I just have so much hockey research to do, um, which I probably should not have just procrastinated before all of this, but that, but that's my middle name. Procrastination is my middle name. Um, but I also was finishing up a summer class, so it's fine. Um, I was looking up high school because this is a high school hockey team and the one team I was looking at did not do so hot in like 2018, 2019. Um, they got 26 losses out of 30 games. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> they really just had a lot of L's uh, that season. I hope they're doing better, but 
probably not because this season is probably over. Um, or maybe not because it ended in February. Maybe they were good. They got it in before the pandemic hit. Um, but that's just what I've been doing. Hockey, stress, and anger. <laughs> um, but fun as well. I'm having a lot of fun with this. So I hope you're enjoying this writing vlog and I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, what's up guys? It's Monday and I last updated on Saturday. Yesterday was busy for me because I hosted Virtual Pride on my channel, but then there were some complications, technical difficulties. So Audrey let me use their channel. So I'll link it down below. It was a great discussion about queer books and just being queer and LGBTQIA plus on booktube. I highly recommend for you to go and watch it. It's an hour and 30. We recommend so many books. And I think if you're looking for a certain type of book, you're going to be able to find one. And we just really talked about representation and what needs to be better in publishing and in booktube. Um, so if you want to learn how to be more inclusive, I highly recommend for you to go and watch it. It was a great discussion and then go and subscribe to all of the lovely booktubers that joined me. It was amazing. I had a great time and this was probably my favorite pride and I will try and do it more. Um, I would love to do it next year if I can. Um, I just need to figure out the technical side of things, but Go and watch that if you haven't and happy pride. Aside from my busy day, I actually did get some writing things done. I feel like I get it more done at night. Um, I'm just in my zone at night. I'm definitely a night owl. Um, but I got a lot of book titles together um, because my book is based on a sports injury and there's really not a lot of books like that. So one, I'm in the niche and second, <laughs> I need some help. Goodreads is good for searching and sometimes it's not. The problem is is that there's so many sports books that are just romance or like new adult romance and I'm not about that and that's not what I need. I need a sports injury book and I found one that is very similar to the plot of my book. But I did find a new adult romance. <laughs> that whole title just makes me cringe. This is Only When It's Us by Chloe Lisi, and I am seeing four and five stars, so it's not a bad book. The synopsis really didn't help me, but I read a review, and this is from Daniela Nina Reads, and she summarized the book way better than the synopsis, and this is what drew me to this book because I was like, whoa, that's basically my book, except not, but there are some similar traits. So. It is a, about a girl named Willa who is a famous soccer player. Um, she's juggling school, sport, and visiting her terminally ill mother in the hospital. Ryder used to play soccer, but he got sick and now he's deaf, which that concerns me if she did it correctly. Before I go and purchase the book, I do want to look up some reviews by disabled reviewers just in case the disability rep is trash. Um, but it is also a frenemies to lovers where they have to team up for a project and I'm not going to spoil anything, but that may or may not be similar to my book. Um, and so I'm going to read reviews before I purchase it, but there's really not a lot of books with sports injuries and I really need a book with a character who is injured from a sport because that is really going to help me out. I'm probably going to make the decision to get this. I know it's on Kindle Unlimited. I wish I had the physical just so I could like flip to certain parts. Um, but my library could have it, but it's still a pandemic and the library is pretty complicated right now and I don't want to overcomplicate things for them. So I'm going to read more reviews and then I'm going to come to the conclusion if I'm going to read it or not. If you do have any recommendations for protagonists who have had a sports related injury, definitely recommend those books down below because I'm going to need everything. I'm going to read reviews, decide if I'm going to read it or not because I really only need it for the frenemies and project part. Today, I'm finishing character profiles. I have five to finish, <laughs> but it's fine. I'm going to listen to my playlist, be in the zone, 
I'm gonna do it and try to not be distracted. Um, I do character profiles different. Um, I tried the beat sheet and it kind of works, but I don't know. I'm just my own person. And I mean, obviously everything works for different people. Um, some of it works for me because there's some things where I'm like, wow, I never realized that, but I'm also a pantser. So I don't even outline and outlining is so hard for me as you can see. <laughs> Um, it's just very stressful, but I've heard that it helps. I hope it helped me because it hasn't helped yet. Um, it kind of helped a little bit because I realized that I haven't touched this since November and I was like, um, I don't know anything. So it's kind of helping me. I really, really need to work on my love interest. I just don't really know much about her, but I've been doing my Pinterest boards, which really helped me. I'm just a very visual person and it helps me to just see things. Um, so character profiles need to be done today. I have other things that I'm really not gonna mention because that's like the big one. I also just have to do research. I'm just going to be doing other research where I want to research um, some shows and films that have sports injuries. Haven't found one yet. <laughs> Tried to do that last night. I don't know why this is so hard to find. Um, you would think that Google would help me, but it kind of doesn't. Tomorrow is gonna be way more busier because I just, I mean, not really. Tomorrow's just more revisions and like making sure I have everything ready for Nano because it starts on Wednesday. <laughs> I'm fine and then I'll edit this and post it. But tomorrow I added in to watch hockey highlights because it'll help me and I really miss Scott Lawton. I've been wanting to watch his highlights for a while, him and Travis Konechny and just all of my guys, I really need it. So <laughs> that'll be fun tomorrow, but I do have a lot to do, but I'll tell you more tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna go and do all my character profiles and I will see you guys probably tonight. What's up guys? It is Tuesday the 30th of June. It is 9 o'clock at night I think. 9.51 to be exact. Whoa, that's a little terrifying. Um, and I... <laughs> Welcome to my writing vlog which is just basically the same as my reading vlog where I talk about the things that I wanted to accomplish but didn't. Um, yesterday I did have a whole plan set, as you saw, with my to-do list that I did not do. I am still in the middle of character profiles. I still need to get all my acts together and I'm just basically a hot mess. I really missed on the opportunity to say get my act together so I thought I would just insert this and now you'll see if I did get my act together or not. And there are only a few hours until midnight when Cam and Nano starts. And I was going to write at midnight. So who knows what's going to happen. I just wanted to update a little bit. Just talk about that. I'm so excited for Camp Nano. Just a little tired. So I figured I would just give you a little update. Sorry if you can hear my laptop behind me. It's pretty loud. So I wanted to update before Camp Nano actually starts. Um, a positive is that I fixed on Dabble what my word count would be. So my word count is at 50 right now. Um, that's what I wrote in November and now it's going to be 100,000 words. So that's just 50 more words. Um, I'm hoping it's doable. I'm basically doing a rewrite because there's a lot of things that I need to rewrite into the story. So it's basically like a new draft coming to life, which I'm excited about. Um, I'm going to spend the last couple hours before Nano doing all of the rest of my character profiles. I've gotten most of them completed, um, but I think I'm just going to be able to complete them as I like write. Um, but I think I'm going to just wrap the rest up as I write because that's just the kind of writer I am is that I just don't know my characters until I actually sit down with them and write them. Um, and so I do have like the gist of my character profiles. Um, I'll link it down below the ones that I've been using, but I kind of just use my own, um, of just things that I think fit my story that I need to know about my characters and then finish out my character profiles, which I just have like the gist of them. Honestly, Pinterest has been helping me so much. 
Pinterest has been helping me so much because I'm a visual person and as I just see things, I'm like, oh, my character would like that. This character would like that. So Pinterest just really helps me and it's been helping me put my character profiles together. Um, so I just kind of have the gist of my character profiles right now and I feel like that's all I really need. Um, like I said before, I'm a pantser and all of my characters come to me as I write. Um, so then I just have to put all my acts together and then tomorrow is gone <laughs> because I do just have a lot of rewriting to do. I have a lot of revision notes that I did. I did a lot of revision notes as well today and just preparing for everything so I'm glad that I did that. There's a lot of more research I need to do but I feel like I'm gonna do that throughout the month as I have certain scenes that I'm going to be writing. I'm super excited. I'm just excited to get back to my story and yeah. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. There's two hours till Campanano. I'll film the first day and then have to edit and upload this. So that's it for now. I have to go do a lot of things in two hours. Um, two hours till Nano. I have a lot of shit to do. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, I hope you're all having a great day. And if you're not, I hope it gets better. Um, but I'm going to go and get all of my pre-Nano stuff ready. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. It is day one of Camp Nano and it's two o'clock and I have not written a single thing. <laughs> um, the most productive thing I've done today is make a cup of coffee and light a candle. Um, last night, or this morning I guess, at midnight, I stayed up until 2 a.m. reading my first draft from November and I read it all through and did not write any notes, um, just some mental notes and now I am scared. <laughs> I just have a lot of things to do. Um, so what I've been doing is I need to rewrite my beginning because I wrote the book halfway through. I had a different idea and now the beginning does not make any sense. Um, so I'm not going to give away my beginning, I guess, but right now I'm doing a lot of research on Reddit. <laughs> So right now I'm just researching a lot for injury um, because I just want to be able to write an injury scene really well. So thank you to r slash hockey players for being that resource for me because I'm just reading a lot of horror stories of like broken ankle things. Before enduring writing this book, I really wanted to learn how to play hockey. And then I went on to that and I never want to play it ever again. <laughs> um, that thought just went straight out the window um, because there are horror stories of people just saying that they just spun around and got hurt and can never play again. And I'm like, okay, that would be me. So I'm just gonna stick to watching it. But I could make that an oh well situation where I'm like, oh well, whatever. If I still get hurt, it's fine. Um, but then the other part of me thinks, what if I spend all that money on all of the equipment and then I get onto the ice and I get hurt? Um, I'm just thinking about money um, because learning how to play is really expensive. But anyway, I'm just reading horror stories. So I've just been reading horror stories and I just really want to perfect the injury. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I also had a little oopsie, but it's fine because it's only my first draft and I can change whatever I need to. So I just really have a lot of thoughts to put down. Like I said, I'm not an outline person, but I should be because now I'm understanding why an outline is so important because I just went through and I just have never made a note of anything. So I'm just like, why did I not do that? Um, so yeah, I just wanted to update real quick, talk about all of my failures um, and how hockey is a scary sport and I am now terrified to ever play it. But regardless, I'm in a good mood. I'm excited to get back to my characters. After reading, I was just really happy with what I had. There are so many things to change, but this is gonna be lit. I'm excited. So I'm having a good day. I'm excited to get back into my story. I was reading it and I was like, I really love what I have, but there are so many plot holes and just shit to fix. It's only a first draft, um, so I'm really not going to put too much pressure on myself but I do have some oopsies that I need to fix um but regardless I'm enjoying it I'm excited 
I just need to be putting more notes down. I have been watching a lot of Camp Nano tip videos and one that I thought was really useful was to reward yourself with something but to only have it after you have done your word count for the day and you can only have that. I think for me that's not gonna work. So I think I'm just gonna reward myself with something different every day. We'll see. It's only the first day um, but I know what today's is going to be. Um, but I'll tell you guys that after I finish my word count, um, but I'm pretty excited. So I'm gonna go take some notes, um, and regret everything, um, but I'm excited. Happy Camp Nano. If you are participating, let me know, um, and I'll see you guys when I have actually written something. <laughs> Great. It's 9.13. I have written a little bit. Um, not as much as I would like to have. Um, 167 words. <laughs> I kind of had a little panic earlier, not gonna lie. Um, mainly because I just was kind of overthinking things. I hadn't ate and I was so excited. But then after everything, I was just like, I don't know if anything makes sense anymore. I don't know if I want this. I don't know if I want any of that. Um, but I'm liking what I'm writing right now. Is it 12 o'clock at night? Yes. <laughs> Did I just hit my word count at 12 o'clock? Possibly. <laughs> Did I just do it in an hour? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Hoping that's not what tomorrow is like, but I actually think just like writing something down really helped me because I just knew what I wanted to write. There it is for proof. It says you did it and yes I did. I said earlier that I wanted to do my opening scene um, and so I ended up just watching hockey fights um, and hockey injuries and just kind of yelling at the really bad calls that were being made kind of made me miss hockey but then at the same time I was like hey I kind of don't miss hockey because there's bad refs that say it's a clean hit when it's not a clean hit if the player is taken off the ice in a stretcher um spoilers <laughs> um but yeah that was kind of heartbreaking to write um very hard to write indeed um but I'm glad I did and now what am I gonna write tomorrow I wish I knew <laughs> um but now I get to have my reward which is one of these and I'm excited about that um so that's kind of it for the vlog today um I'm probably gonna do weekly vlogs, I guess. I don't know, I guess just let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see. Um, this is like my first attempt, so I just kinda wanna see if anyone just wants like updates, anything, if you want like weekly vlogs. Um, I feel like that's probably what I'm going to be doing. So if you would like a weekly vlog, let me know. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you next time. Hi, you've made it to the end of the video where I am going to reveal to you my book title. I did say it was going to be at the end, and this is the very end, and my title is... I don't know if this is going to change or not for when I eventually get published, but it is going to be Breaking the Ice. I'm so excited for this, um, and yeah, now you know. <laughs>